Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Wednesday. Well today we'll be starting one of the, the many that I got from Everyday E-Crafts. This one today is called Bird of Season. It's by Joy Sunday of course. And it is a 14 count, and it's 71 by 29 centimeters, if I could just talk. Oh, my goodness. And it has 32 colors, and, of course, the first color I'm going to start with is white. I thought I'd start over here. I did crunch the fabric down a little bit. It is uh, surged all the way around the edge. There's a little tag right here. We'll just get rid of it. Um, not tag, but just the edge of the surging. But it's surged all the way around. It's very nice. 345 by 122. And it, it's kind of small. I'm using um, two strands. And I hope that'll be okay. We'll see. We'll just see as we go along. And hopefully you'll be able to to see this today. Let me see if I can get my, well, of course, I moved the bell so I won't hit it, and I've hit it every day. So, there we go. We'll just pull it up a little bit. So, what's everybody up to? It's middle of the week again. Oh, yeah. Last night was horrible at work. It just kept going and kept going. And I was ready to go home by 10.15. I was done. I was over it. And, uh, yeah. I sat down, had a cup of coffee, looked at all the stuff that had come out on floss tube, checked the mail, blah, blah, blah. Got up to get more coffee, and, oh my goodness, I could barely walk. So I had to get out the ice pack and put it on my back and on my leg. Yeah, it's just great when you move around a lot. So, we'll see. This does have back stitching in it. I don't know. I'll show the picture here. Yeah, you can kind of see where you have to go around all the... Uh, Like their feathers and stuff, and then some of the leaves have back stitching, but they're not too big of individual patterns. You could do this as uh, three separate pictures if you wanted to. I'm sure you can do whatever you want, but so I don't know. I'm just gonna stitch along here and try to finish one before I start the next one that's down there, but we'll see. We will see. This has a nice needle that came with it. See how thin that one is? It's just wonderful. Now maybe they send you a thinner one for 14 count, you know, then they do 11 count. That would make sense, but I have no idea just don't know but it it's stitching easier than the 11 count that I did the other day and you know I like thin needles and I usually like them smaller but it's okay on this I use a uh, number 28 when I'm stitching like counted cross stitch except for um, when I'm using sulky I have to use a 26 or else I'll never get it threaded I will, but it'll take a hot moment. And, and, yeah. Some things. Okay, what is going on here? I'm stitching and talking and not pulling my threads down. So, yeah, today we get our order in. Fun times. Who knows? Last week it didn't show up until 8.15 at night. 
you know, the boss was not happy. But people that bring it were behind by one whole day because something happened there. We'll see. We'll see. Just what time and how soon they'll get there. They had been getting there, oh, between four and five ish. But, you know, in the summertime, the orders are bigger because stores need more, so it takes a little bit longer for him to unload it. And it's only one guy. I don't know why they don't send two. Well, I do kind of know why, because they don't have anybody else to to go with him. But it sure would help that poor guy out. I don't know how he manages. I'm trying to find the hole. Be a hot moment. There we go. Not used to doing 14 count on pre-stamps. But I really like the picture, so that's how we ended up with 14 count. trying <sighs> I gotta back it up a bit kind of a long piece of material I swear that material is at least 30 inches long and it keeps coming right at me. And I don't want to cut it in half. Or cut it into separate, you know, pieces. It should be stitched all as a whole. You can see the, the symbol thing runs across the bottom. Down here. So you don't want to break that up. That would be a nightmare to work on. So I'll just work on it this way. It'll be different if I'm sitting at a couch. So. There's two shades of orange. Maybe that's kind of a reddish color. It's kind of a dash. I don't know what that color is supposed to be. I'd have to look it up. So we'll see. Maybe it's a plus sign. I can't tell. I'd have to really look that up. But that blue right there that you see, it's a yellow, pale yellow color. So it was just about as bad as using the white. But I think we're good. We'll just keep stitching. Oh, and this is B5200, if I forgot to tell you what color thread this is. It's either B5200 or 3865 is what they use for white. So, yeah, this is B5200. It's a brighter white. Sometimes it doesn't lay down so well, but this is laying down good. Not a problem. Oh, I got so much to do tomorrow. I'm telling you. I have to go to the post office. And go get my second shot. And go grocery shopping. And come home and pay the bills. Which I do all online anyway. So, not a big deal. Oh, and I forgot to mention yesterday. Thank you for the people that bought me coffee. Uh, 
in the last week. I greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. But I forgot to say that yesterday, and I just thought I'd say that. Where am I at? So I didn't, I watched some YouTubers yesterday. I was just fried. I went to bed at like 1130, 12 o'clock. I was just absolutely done in. Some days are like that. Hey, enough. Motor mouth. I know, I know. It's a pain in the butt, but you sit up there and then all you do is bark mom. Or growl. Because, you know, when I say something, she just kind of like she's back talking to me. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Crazy dog. And my son sent me a picture yesterday, and they got a new fur baby. And it's a Rottweiler. It's a little baby Rottweiler, and her name is Athena. The kids, when they were growing up, had a uh, Rottweiler, and her name was Morgan Adams of Cut throat island can you tell what movie that came from so we called her morgan she was akc registered but she was a beautiful dog she kind of stubborn but she was fine hey you can get down now yeah she didn't like that but she did yeah, I kind of want a puppy, but I don't. I don't want to have to go through that phase. Or I don't want them, uh, what do you call it, whining the whole time that I'm at, at work. Because that could happen. When uh, we got our other Rottweiler, somebody was home. At, you know, all the time. And my kids were in... Oh, high school. But she was a good dog. I think I need to get rid of this thread. We're about at the end here. And heaven knows I must have 25 skeins of B5200 or white or crew or black. I keep them in stock for, I don't know, various reasons. Whoops, I gotta pull that apart. My bad. Well, that's weird. Unless I just stitched all that with three strands. I don't think so. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. My daughter woke me up at 7.30 this morning with tales of woe from work, her work. You know, we have to share the, the war stories, especially in the summer. It's just, 
gets to be too much sometimes. You begin to think that you need to have a therapist just to vent. And the cottonwood blossoms that come out in spring are now drying up. And they're like little pieces of fuzz floating in the air. Oh, it's great. We don't have a lot of bugs. You know, you get, what do you call them? Moths or millers, whatever they're called. At nighttime, you know, towards a light out in front. But we don't have many mosquitoes unless you're up by water, you know. So, it's grand. I know where I was going next. So, no plans for this weekend. I think my daughter's going to go camping with my uh, granddaughter. Because my grandson got to go and stay all night at his buddy's. But, uh, she didn't get to go. Because they're all little boys over there and they get rowdy. But she still thinks she ought to be able to hang with the boys. So, we'll see. If they end up going or not. Depend how my daughter feels. But, I think business is definitely picked up around here and there's a lot more people in town this week of course it's not going to be the weekend for um what do you call it fourth of july geez i didn't even know where i was going with that conversation so yeah that ought to be a free-for-all and if they can one year we didn't even get to do fireworks because it was so dry and hot and um they had like a fire ban. You couldn't even barbecue outside. That's how bad it was. And they have a, a small fire. I don't know if it's out now, you know. But somebody said there was a fire uh, about 45 minutes away down the highway from where I live. So, that's about 30, 40 miles away. But I haven't heard any more, you know, about it. So, not even on the news. Was it last summer? They had this terrible fire down by Salida, which is another 45 minutes away. But it's south of us. And it burned, I swear, it seemed like it was all summer. And so it created lots and lots of smoke, especially if the wind blew from this direction. But it didn't burn any of the town. It was just on the mountain, like, you could see it. It was probably like we are, 10, 20 minutes away from town at the mo. I mean, of course, the further you go, the farther minute-wise it is, but... Yeah. So. Hey. Seriously. Joy Sunday always has such good thread. It's the first white that I've sewn that I actually laid down on a project. I don't know. Some just seem thinner than others. Oops, I forgot to cross that. Come on. 
Didn't work on any stitching when I got home. I was just that fried. And so fried I couldn't even flip and think. I just hate it. And I fixed a plan for it. I fixed a turkey tetrazzini. You know, Stover's turkey tetrazzini. Six and a half minutes and we're done. We're ready to eat. I don't know what I fixed the other day. But I guess I should have had the... Oh, I got fried chicken at the grocery store. So I'll probably have to have some of that tonight. Or I'll freeze it. Because I get the... What do you call it? Eight piece dark. Because I'm not real fond of white meat. Unless I've got a real plan for it. I'll take the chicken breasts. They're usually really big. So I'll make a chicken salad. So, And I put the other half of the ribs away in the freezer. So I can take them out. And defrost them whenever I need them. Because I got a great big rack and it was like seven, seven or eight dollars it was on sale. So that was a pretty good price on, on that. They were pork ribs. So, yeah. I got a few things I could eat up. And I bought a thing of hamburger. Pound of hamburger and uh, got some bacon. I thought I'd fix like a... What do they call that? Chopped steak. And sometimes I'll put, um, do it like that with the bacon around it. And just have it plain with the gravy on the side. Or I'll smother it with uh, gravy and fry up some onions and mushrooms uh, along with the meat. And it's really good. And then I have enough of that for two days because, you know, I can't eat a pound of hamburger in one sitting. Sometimes I can cut it up and have salad or something else with it. And, uh, yeah. So that it, it'll go three days. So, never can tell. And I really don't like to eat a lot of food at one time in the summer because I'm so hot usually and especially not at 10 o'clock night that ain't happening so I save those kind of things for my day off and I just get the meat when it's all on sale and freeze it and pull it out at will so but I wanted to have enough food this weekend because I wasn't I didn't know what the uh, second COVID shot's going to do so, we'll see. I wanted to be prepared. And I really didn't feel like ordering out from Domino's. Yeah, we have a Domino's. It's usually okay, but lately they've been screwing up and it's busy season for them. So, it takes forever to get a pizza. And I'm just not in the mood for pizza. Actually, what I really wanted was some spaghetti with some Italian sausage in it. But, yeah. And it's something I can't eat three days in a row either. Just cannot handle it. So, we'll see. We will see. And I did buy some new lettuce and I had some great big nice tomatoes, so... I thought I could have, um, I usually like to make a salad with, they have a package, I don't know who makes it, I can't remember, I want to say Tyson, kind of, but I'm not sure that that's right, um, sometimes it's simple truth, they have like, white meat grilled, or chicken that's been grilled, and it comes in a bag and it's already cooked and everything. So, I take that and break it up on a salad and have that in the summertime because it's a little bit lighter to have. And my fan works great. Yeah, I just turn it on when I get home and it sucks all that cold air right down to the bedroom. And, yeah, 
I think it's going to work. I'm so glad I bought that fan. I only have to run it about 15 minutes at night. I left the, the door open and it pulls all that cold air down to the bedroom so that I can sleep. I'm telling you. Now if I could just get off the fact that I have to turn on my electric blanket. I know. It sounds a little ridiculous this third week of June. But I just get, sometimes I just get chilled and turned on. Then I'm burning up. So that takes another half an hour to cool down from that. So, we try. We're about to get around there. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be it for today. I'll have a longer one tomorrow. I promise. Or at least we'll try to promise. Depends what goes on. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.